The purchase request feature has no effects on inventory movement and GL entries and is usually used to record any stock item requested by internal staff. It is to be noted that I have set up a system setting in a way that any staff is able to perform a purchase request but only the admin can approve it. So now I have logged in into the system as user A. To create a new purchase request, go to purchases and click on purchase request. And here, click on new to create a new purchase request. Key in the requester name, then right click to add the item code. Here, key in the quantity that you want to request. Here, select the creditor code and the creditor name will automatically appear. So once done, click save. You can also click preview to view the reprints as well. Now, after logging in back to the system as the admin, if we go to purchases and click on purchase request, we would be able to view the purchase request made by user A. Since we are logged in as admin, if we click on this purchase request, we will be able to approve this request by clicking this approve button. In this prompt message, click yes to approve this purchase request. So now, this purchase request is approved. We can also transfer this purchase request to purchase order. To do that, click to highlight this document, then right click. Here, click on partial transfer to new purchase order. In the unit price, Then, click save to save this purchase order. If we click on new flow to view the flow of this document, we will notice that this document has already been transferred to purchase order. And this would be the saved purchase order.